Hello folks, this is 2020 October November paper 13 and the question number is 38. So it has been a bit uh, time uh, since I posted my last video because uh, my printer stopped working. Actually it was the USB port that was not functioning so I got the problem fixed out and uh, now I am starting. It is concerned with the chapter current electricity. It, it is about potentiometer. So it says a power supply and a solar cell are, com are compared using a potentiometer circuit shown. So we have a solar cell here and we have the power supply here. Positive and positive meeting at a point, negative and a negative meeting at the other. The potentiometer wire PQ is 100 cm long. So this PQ is 100 cm long and has a resistance of 5 ohms. So that means 100 centimeter. Centimeter corresponds to resistance of 5 ohm. The power supply has an EMF 2 volt, 2 volt and the solar cell has an EMF of uh, uh, 5.00 millivolts. So this uh, uh, E, let us say this is E solar cell is equal to uh, 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. That's equal to 0 0.005 <coughs> volt. What resistance R must be used so that the galvanometer reaches 0 when PS equal to 40 centimeters? So we have to have the galvanometer 0 when it is 40 centimeter. It means that in this circuit, in the potentiometer, if the galvanometer reads 0, then the PD here, the potential difference here, which is VPS, VPS should be equal to this ES. If it is 0, then VPS should be equal to this ES. So then only uh, the current can be totally 0 here. So that means at that time, VPS equal to this much. So VPS is equal to ES equal to it is 0.005 volt. So to achieve that, to achieve that, we have to find what resistance R must be used so that the galvo reaches zero like this. So we have to find this R. Now if I turn this circuit a bit uh, like this and do some modifications, what I'll have is, what I'll have is, it is this thing which is 2.000 volt I call it as E equal to then it comes like this then it is R it is R then it is uh, it is it is it is uh, uh, S Q then it is uh, S P S sorry 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 it's shifted slightly then it is S and then P P and from there it comes to this side. So I am changing the setup like this. So this is R, this is uh, uh, QS and this is SP. So this SP is uh, 40 centimeter. And and, and uh, from yes, from yes we have got this voltage which is uh, VPS. So this is VPS is equal to 0 0.005 volt. Now we can apply voltage divider theorem here. So we can apply voltage divider theorem here. So before that, let us find the resistances of this SP and uh, uh, this QS. So if uh, under CM equal to 5 ohm, then uh, 40 CM should be equal to, 40 CM should be equal to 5 by 100 into 40. And that's equal to 4, 10 to 5, so it should be 2 ohm. So this thing should be, this resistance should be equal to 2 ohm. And if it is a 2 ohm, then uh, this remaining should be 3 ohm. So if it is a 2 ohm here, the remaining should be 3 ohm because the total is 5. So I have got uh, R P S equal to 2 ohm and R S Q is equal to 3 ohm. Now, if I apply the voltage divider here, what I have is VPS should be equal to RPS divided divided RPS plus RSQ plus R into this E, which gives us VPS equal to 0 0.005 equal to RPS is uh, 2. This is 2 plus 3 plus R into this is 2.00 something. Now this gives us, 
it is 5 plus r 5 plus r so this 5 plus r goes here and this goes here so it is 5 plus r is equal to 2 to the 4 4 by 0 0.005 Zero five. So uh, this will give us. So R then R is equal to four by zero point zero zero five minus five. So this is four divided zero point zero zero five equal to eight hundred and minus five equal to seven nine five. So 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 the value is equal to seven nine five ohm and. Uh, going through the answer choices, then 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 we have the correct answer is this C. So some of you might uh, blame me for uh, using calculator even for that. But yes, that's my weakness and I accept that. So that is my weakness. Uh, I need a cal calculator even for uh, very small calculations. And I did and got this 795 ohm. Thank you.